You ready for this? We're making a waffle stitch washcloth. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the waffle stitch crochet pattern washcloth. These things are incredible. They're beautiful. It's what you would see in a store, but the fact that it's handmade and it looks complicated just levels you up and is really exciting and so much fun. If at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and click the bell. That way you get notified whenever I release a brand new video. I try to release a brand new video every single Friday covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects, tutorials, tips and tricks, and you're not going to want to miss out. The waffle stitch crochet pattern you can find in the notes section, description section, and the comment section below this video. All you have to do is click on that link, print it off, and be ready to crochet with me. Once you're ready, let's go ahead and dive right into what materials you're going to need to make this waffle stitch washcloth. The materials that you're going to need to make your waffle stitch washcloth will include 100% cotton yarn. Cotton yarn is great to use in water, so you're going to want to stick with a 100% cotton. I used Lily's Sugar and Cream. I used approximately 110 yards of yarn or 101 meters of yarn, 66 grams of yarn, or 2.3 ounces of yarn to complete this washcloth. You'll need a crochet hook size G6 or 4.00 or a 4.25 millimeter crochet hook. For this project, we want our stitches to be on the tighter side. You want a pair of scissors, you want a yarn needle, tapestry needle to help weave in the ends at the end of the project, and you will need a measuring tape because you're just going to be repeating row two and row three until you've met the size washcloth that you desire, which is approximately 10 inches wide by 10 inches long. That's what we're aiming for here. All right, once you've gathered all of your materials, let's get started making our waffle stitch washcloth. We begin the waffle stitch washcloth with a total of 41 chains. There is a stitch count requirement for the waffle stitch pattern, which is in a multiple of three plus two. To get the 10 inch width that we are looking for, you begin by chaining 41 chains. Start with a long enough tail for us to weave in at the end of the project. And we are all set up to begin row one. For row one, we will double crochet in the fourth chain from our crochet hook. Remember that the loop on our crochet hook does not count as a chain. We are looking for the V stitches. One, two, three, four. So double crochet in that fourth chain. There we go. The three chains that we skipped do count as a double crochet stitch. So technically we already have two double crochet stitches. One, two. For the rest of row one, you are just making one double crochet stitch in every chain all the way across. I will meet you at the end of row one to show you how we move on to row two. Thirty-eight and thirty-nine. You should end row one with a total of thirty-nine double crochet stitches if you need that count in order to help guide you to make sure that way you are staying on count. That's what you're looking for. Thirty-nine double crochets. Great, we've just finished row one. Moving on to row two. To begin row two, we will chain three chains. One, two, three. Turn our work. That chain three does count as our very first double crochet stitch and will actually take the very first stitch space. So the next stitch we will work will be a front post double crochet around the second double crochet stitch. So yarn over, insert your crochet hook between the first and second double crochet stitches, go behind the stitch, and pop out between the second and third double crochet stitch. Yarn over, pull that yarn through, so it's like you're flossing behind that stitch. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and that is a front post double crochet stitch. You will back post double crochet stitch around the next three double crochet stitches. Come from behind, 
between those two stitches, push that double crochet stitch back, go between the next two stitches, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's back post double crochet number one, back post double crochet number two, back post double crochet number three. Great, all right, then you repeat the pattern. Front post double crochet, back post double crochet around the next three double crochet stitches. One, two, three. Two, three. When you reach the end of row two, you are left with two stitches left over. What you're going to do is you're going to front post double crochet around the first of those two. And in the very last stitch, you're going to make a regular double crochet in the third chain. One, two, three. Regular double crochet stitch to end row two. Perfect. So this is what we are looking at with our waffle stitch pattern after row two. You'll see that all those posts are sticking out the front here. You may also notice that these waffle stitches will create a border. There'll be a border around them. There is a double crochet stitch or the chain three that counts as a double crochet stitch in the beginning and a double crochet stitch in the end, kind of just framing that waffle stitch pattern. All right, let's move on to row three. For row three, we will chain three chains. One, two, three. Throughout the rest of this pattern, guys, you will begin every single row with a chain three. Turn your work. Again, that chain three does count as our very first double crochet stitch, taking the space of the first stitch space. So our very next stitch, we will work around the second double crochet stitch. Our very first stitch will be a back post double crochet around the front post double crochet of the previous row. Yarn over, insert your crochet hook behind that front post, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that just elongates this long post stitch up that side, what you're looking for. You'll make one regular double crochet stitch in the next three stitches. One, two, three, and then repeat. Back post double crochet, and then one double crochet in the next three stitches. Last two stitches of row three, back post double crochet around the front post from the previous row, and regular double crochet in the third chain. So one, two, three, regular double crochet stitch. Perfect. 
So that is row three right there. To move on to row four, we will chain three. One, two, three. Turn our work. All right, now for the rest of this project, we are just repeating row two, row three, row two, row three, row two, row three, through the end of this project. That is why you're going to want to keep your tape measure handy because you're going to want to continue to refer to how long your project is. You want to end at 10 inches. That way we'll have 10 inches wide by 10 inches long. You will keep all of the post stitches. These front posts will all stay on one side. The other side will be flat. So if you notice that on both sides you have some kind of post stitch sticking out, you'll know that you did something wrong. Because <laughs> we, want, we want all of these post stitches to stay on the front on one side. That way they will continue their vertical line all the way up. The back post double crochets from the row twos will create the horizontal line of our waffle stitch pattern. And that is what creates this really cool crochet stitch is all those posts staying on the one side. All right, and that's it guys. You will want to end your very last row. will need to be a row two to finish off that waffle stitch and make it look really symmetrical and that it is finished. All right, that's how you do this. The next stitch will just be another row two and you just continue on. All right, so what did you think of the waffle stitch crochet pattern on the washcloth? I thought it was really cool. I think it'll work really well with whatever purpose that I utilize this washcloth with, whether it be in the kitchen sink or if I wanna use it in the shower or bathtub and just exfoliate skin. I think that it would work really well and I'm really excited to give it a try. If you enjoyed this crochet pattern, you will definitely wanna check out my other videos on different stitches to try. Also check out this video right here, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for spending time with me today, crocheting with me. I always love crocheting with you. I hope you have the best day and I will see you with my next video. Bye guys.